So I tried to put those away and I tried to go back to a, a world before Peter Pan. And to me it was kind of trying to go back to a world before Harry Potter. Like, <laughs> that was, you know. And so I read the book and I was really bowled over by how many really interesting, funny, and heartbreaking ideas are in J.M. Barry's book, which of course is also a stage play. Um, so I kind of looked at the stage play too. And what spoke to me most of all was the idea of the Wendy House, which often gets left out of adaptations of Peter Pan because it's not terribly exciting. Mm -hmm. It's after Wendy has uh, been struck by Toodle's arrow, you know, the Wendy bird is flying, and he shot her down. Um, she's lying on the ground, and Peter comes and finds her, and, and they discover she's not dead, but she's sleeping. And so they decide, because they're excited to have her as their mother, to build a house around her. Mm -hmm. And they figure you just start with, like, the table and chairs and build a house out from there and that's kind of how a house is built. So they grab everything they can, everything from the home into the ground and all this stuff from Neverland and build the Wendy house. Mm -hmm. And that little house goes on to have quite a life of its own in the story. Um, in the epilogue it's mentioned that Peter is going to go on living in that house, that the fairies are going to carry it up to the trees mm -hmm. and uh, set it up high. And so I thought it was a really neat way of coming into Neverland through Wendy's point of view. And as a quiet, sensitive, introverted woman, the idea of a little place where I could hide in Neverland that was built out of stuff from Neverland is very appealing to me. Um, so I'm still in the process of working on it. You know, we all, our deadline's not yet. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, like two extra weeks, like, oh, thank goodness. Um, so what I'd like to do is to build a little house that seems like it's made out of Neverland, and then it's made specifically for Wendy by kids who don't know how to build a house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of reminds me of when I was a kid, and we were like, yeah, we're going to build a fort. It's going to be the best fort ever. And we'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it looks kind of crappy, but like definitely <laughs> interesting. So I, I had to put aside also, I mean, the advantage I have is that I don't know how to build a house. <laughs> so it won't look too good. Um, I'm going to start with an illustration, and then I'm going to challenge myself to take that a little further and uh, see if I can't make something out of practical uh, things that a small house miniature. Um, <laughs> but don't hold me to that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, that's what struck me as the most interesting part of Peter Pan for me, where I'm at in my life right now. Mm -hmm. I certainly thought that I was going to do mermaids, because I'm really obsessed with mermaids, and anyone can tell you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have how many mermaid tails? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, 